from a region business school perspective, we have one view and a few ideas on how we could address this. And I think because we are in the higher education space, we almost see the end result of maybe 12 years of schooling that we see at the end of the day, which gets into higher education. And I think our first premise is that whatever we do to try and stem unemployment has to start at the school level. What I mean is begin to look at the curriculum and the way we teach our, our pupils in school, our learners in school. How do we teach them? What do we actually teach them? Is there value to teach certain subjects that we may not really use post high school? Could we change curriculum? Could we start coding, which government has started very early? South Africa has started this year, 2020, where they've introduced coding and robotics for the first time. That's a start on the road to change the way we see or to address the unemployment issue. The second issue is policy development within government to be more flexible and open to entrepreneurship, to allow higher education to be able to play or rather manipulate curriculum to address the issues that are out there. And what do I mean by that? Can we start with technology right from school and get into higher education where they be able to express themselves in a very different way of learning? A classic example or a classic way to do this is the way we teach maths today. We, we almost teach maths in a very rote learning kind of method. Can we change the entire way where we begin to work more collaboratively in terms of learnings? Can we have groups rather than individual learning? And those things do exist, I must say. But I think it needs to be expanded even more. So we begin to make our STEM subjects your science, your education, your maths, your, elect your engineering, more exciting, more, in more interesting for people or students to want to engage with. At the moment, we seem to be distancing ourselves from it. Students find it difficult to engage with those curriculums because it's the way it's designed. So I think one critical aspect is both at the school level, we need to look at curriculum development in a very different way than what we used to. And higher education needs to embrace the four IR technologies within their curriculum and within their practices in order to achieve the outcomes we wish to achieve to address the issue of unemployment.